Hola. Hey guys, what's up? I don't know why I'm into speaking Th Spanish. There's already today. like four people here. That's crazy. Yep. All right. Good. Wednesday morning. It's the Wednesday morning show. We don't have a jingle yet. Make a jingle for us. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. I think I've heard that one before. I have. Somewhere. I'm okay, not sure where, go. but I think someone's already got that one taken. And today in land is. Crafting Wednesday. That's a pretty good jingle. I mean, I don't like it, but it's, but you're a good jingle writer. It didn't make the cut though. Back to the drawing board. Um, hola, peeps. So, what are we doing today? Today, we are embossing my cow. Technically, we're learning how yeah. to emboss. And I have playing, no idea how this works. Playing with some embossing powder uh, that I was given at Creativation, and we went and bought some at Hobby Lobby, and we're going to use anti-take glitter to make our own, because after I fully understood what it was, I was like, hold up, we can make our own with our glitter. So that's what we're going to do today. Ooh. Yeah, so where'd you get this bad boy? I got this at the Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby just opened really close to our home. And so my mom's addicted. Well, I've always been addicted, but, but it's now just it's like close. so now she's like it's super addicted. yeah. It's right where I always go anyway, so it's like great. Thanks, thanks so much. All the money is going bye bye. <laughs> Have to sell the house because Hobby Lobby moved in, or you just turn our house into a Hobby Lobby. Thanks for loving my glitter, Gigi. I love you. Thanks for being my influencer. All right, I've caffeined up. Are you caffeined up? Yes. No, because you're really? a kid. But not a kid, you're a 13 year old, you're a teenager. a teenager, you're allowed to have make caffeine. YouTube content. Not so much caffeine. I do have caffeine. Though. I know, but I try not to. You saw how the smile direct lady was like, what, you're drinking coffee? That's not oh, okay. Man. Okay, so. That's all right. Let's hang out for a little bit, because it's not technically 10 o'clock. Not that I think anybody's specifically here live with us to watch this tutorial, but people later will want to see the yeah. tutorial. So maybe we should just jump into it. We can hang out at the end. Um, no bangs for Landis. No, she does not drink bangs. bangs. Not bangs. I drink like Starbucks coffees. And it's not even that much caffeine. It's mostly sugar. Yeah, which is probably worse for you than caffeine. Yeah. Honestly. Honestly. So does everybody know what embossing powder is? Not me. Anybody? Going once, Bueller, anyone? Uh, okay, so <laughs> your internet, is it my internet or is it your internet? Oh, buddy, careful. He just hit his head on a board. Sorry. Okay, where are you gonna lay? All right. Yeah, bye -bye. So, uh, please tell us. Oh, do you know what Cricut just came out with today? Oh, yes, yes. The Cricut Joy. The little joy, the joy maker, I the little just, joy. I just think it's the Cricut Joy. Cricut Joy. It's $180. Save your money. Get the real Cricut. Or Honestly. Get some AirPods. It's like, get some AirPods. <laughs> no. We're going to start carrying InPods on ShopAntiK.com. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, right. Up. She told me that. No, duh. Yeah. I'm going to have one in every single color. Do you know what InPods are? You do, but do you guys know what InPods oh, are? Yeah. They're basically AirPods, but they're like generic brand, but they do exactly I the same thing. Mine. But oh, where's yours? They're over there, but I blinged them. I'll oh, show it's yes. a video. So. so they're basically um AirPods and how I discovered them is my I'll friend, get you some InPods L. My uh friend was on Wix and was just like, We're gonna buy these like cheap AirPods and we're gonna buy them and they were only three dollars. And so she was like, okay, we'll just buy them. I think they're going to be, like, huge and plastic and, like, not good condition. And she gets them, and they're the same exact size as AirPods, just a little bit bigger. And they're, they're bigger? I don't even know if they're that much. Okay. No, a teeny bit. Like, we, I have we'll, a video. We'll compare. We will compare. That I have means... a video of comparing my InPods to my friend's AirPods, and they're pretty much the same, except mine doesn't have the button on the case, and hers are a tiny bit as a tiny bit smaller head. And so, all right, enough about the InPods. Wait, they're wait, really I'm cool. Done. No, this video is about embossing. But the best part about them is they come in so many different colors and they're matte. I might have you do the review video. Okay. But when we launch them, anyways, they're gonna be coming to the shop because 
they're really cool and you guys are gonna want them because well I shared them on Instagram and then I realized the link was from a place in Indonesia so I was like okay you have to get them overseas right now or Amazon which they're like 30 bucks so what right they were like 30 bucks on Amazon so I was like I'm gonna no, carry them. like $20 yeah on Amazon. but either way I'm gonna carry them Elle says hi Landy hey okay so what is embossing in a nutshell kind of super uneducated on this but I did make sure that it's non-toxic and it won't hurt my lungs is that real I don't know but okay so basically it's a clear little pieces of they're like kind of beady type they're things. like beads I asked if they were plastic they said no and I was like well then what is it because I don't want to be melting plastic in my craft room um but do they smell no it doesn't have a smell but neither does epoxy so um this is the brand that we're oh. thinking of carrying it's a european brand it's called wow and they carry loose glitter it but does smell they all don't smell it then it's probably a chemical so just wet, use a well ventilated area or just be careful i don't know if you guys are educated on embossing let me know but um so basically you can melt and add your own glitter or you can buy pre-mixed embossing powder with glitter or like what i remember it being is just a powder that's like matte color and when you heat it up it like puffs up so uh so i have three embossing powders two from wow one from hobby lobby the clear embossing powder that we can make our own with and then some of their glitter from wow to see what difference it does. I know that when you do emboss, it changes color quite a bit. So I'll bring you guys in close to show you that. Um, they did teach me at Creativation how to do it and I just kind of filmed it. I didn't really get my hands on it, so I don't really know. Um, and you need some sort of something to hold the glitter on. So I got pens, embossing pens, and an embossing ink pad. Um, so with the pens, we can draw where we want and dump it on. Oh. Uh, with the stamps, you can stamp it on. So like if you wanted to do your name, we're going to play with the piece of paper first. Okay. So let's just do a piece of paper and we're going to bring you guys in and play Ooh. around with this. The most probably hardest thing that is to find, and I actually couldn't find it at Joann's Hobby Lobby or Amazon, was a heat gun. So when Hobby, no, sorry, I wasn't able to find it at Joann's, Michael's, or Amazon. So when Hobby Lobby did, did open, they carry heat guns. Super excited about that. Um, Cause otherwise I was gonna carry them in my store, the WOW brand one. But we, this is, I don't even know what brand this is. Do you? Yeah. It's the, show them the package right there. It's a heat gun though. You can get them anywhere. Craft tool. It's just like a generic Hobby Lobby. It was 25 bucks, but I used my coupon code on it. So, I mean, that's the most expensive part, but if making our own works out and you have anti-take glitter, we're really trying to come up with other things to use our glitter for instead of tumblers, because we know that a lot of people are nixing doing tumblers right now until they can get all the proper knowledge on how to do that. So let's bring you guys in close and play with this and I'll read some comments. So if you guys know how to emboss, help us help mm -hmm. you help us help you. I okay? think what we should do is like write down my YouTube name. <laughs> I think you should maybe start your YouTube channel before you keep promoting it. Well, I'm yeah hunter's booty is in your guys's way These are today so, so cool yeah they really are so <laughs> really hard to open are they so oh, no, this one's good. a black pen so i'm pretty sure it writes black but you emboss on it and then it has like a black underneath it uh the heat gun we'll that's the brand I, there's not really a brand on it someone asked what brand it is but i just showed it so Found out today that Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joann's accept each other's coupons. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. It just depends on, like, the employee, I think, at the time. So. I'm pretty sure the brand is Craft Tools. Craft Tools is the brand. And I don't know. But adult use only, so don't touch it. You can touch it. It's okay. You're a teenager. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so write something fancy. Okay. I don't know if you have to do it, like, when it's... Um, 
dry or not here. Hunter's butt really is like, can you guys see this? He's like right there. <gasps> hey, bud, you're like all up in our grill today. Give me. When are you not? Okay, sorry, buddy. He is not happy that we okay. raped him. So, you're fine, lay down. What should I write? Landis? Um, bring it a little, because I can't. Oh no, that's fine, you're actually fine. Uh, write whatever you want, but make space because we're gonna test out a few different things with okay. those. Here, let's just go with the two different embossing powders. Let's start with pink tinsel. This is the one I got at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Oh, that's cute. Okay, here, put it over this. Put what You gotta is. work quickly. It's gonna oh. dry. Put it over this. I think. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay. Now dump it out. Mm. Why is there sections in this thing? So I also got this at Hobby Lobby as well. Okay. Oh, that is so cute. <gasps> okay, but wait. There's more. Put it down. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> I want to bring them in a little closer for the deets because that's really light. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Sorry about this uh, low quality production value we've got going on here. Here, bring it over. Bring it over here. Can they even see it? Let's bring it over. Can y'all see this? All right. Sorry, I can't read comments at the moment. But, okay, so you just turn it on. I'm going to turn it on low. We don't want to melt that, though. So let's do it like this. And then we're going to see what happens. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I think it begins to melt. Hunter, please don't. And I know that um, the lady at Creativation was doing it from the bottom. You see what's happening? <gasps> yeah. It's starting to puff up. I have it on the lowest Ooh. heat setting right now. Uh, not that impressed with you. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to join the video. Hunter, Sorry, it's sir. hot. You don't want to do that. Let me turn it on high really quick. Let's see if something else happens. <laughs> okay, this really doesn't change much. Maybe it looks cooler if we do it on like the canvas. It might, but I want to. Okay, so it's got like a texture to it now. But let's try the wows because theirs oh. is really cool. So here, write something now, right here. Oh, oh let's black. do the white okay. pen. Oh, I got that. Come over here and write it. Let's write. Let's put this back. Do these compartments come out? Oh, this is pretty nifty. This is super nifty. Hello. Um, I'm gonna clean this up. Okay. Really Whoa. quick. I know, right? <gasps> that it that's definitely suggests getting one of these. That's life. The little like divider came out. That was cool. Okay. Can they see? Okay, so let's try Wow's. This is their they gave me whatever they had on hand, so. Whoa! This is Whoa. fancy. Not sure what's going on here. Hello. That's, it sticks really good though, but I feel like only the little white parts are the emboss. We don't know. Okay. All right, let's emboss this and see what happens. So, so far, I'm not really impressed with the one from Hobby Lobby. Can you emboss on t-shirts? Yeah, you can emboss on a lot of things. I don't know about shirts. Okay, see how shiny it's getting? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. So next we're going to try to make our own with Fancy Takeover. So I'm not sure what those white parts are, if they're supposed to be kind of like it's an added texture to it. But I don't like them. So see how the glitter gets super shiny? Mm -hmm. And that one has a smell. That's yeah. interesting. We'll see how my lungs do afterwards. That will always be the tester. Yeah. Okay, so let's put this away. This is a really cool tool. It's a Hobby Lobby, guys. Let's see $2. If I can... No, it wasn't $2. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was like $6. Mm -mm. Show me. Show me the deets. All right. Super hard to tell the super shininess. Okay, it's tidy try four dollars. Can you see it? It like gets like a it's almost like foiling, but I'm not I'm not so fond of that color. Let's it's try $4. Neptune. Here, write something else. Four dollars. Guys, get the tidy tray at Hobby Lobby. What the heck? Y'all need that. I don't even think I could carry it for that price. Get it at Hobby Lobby. Okay, what are we writing now? Secret message to your boyfriend for Valentine's Day? No. I was... What? 
It just says Maybe low. this has to be mixed. Oh, look, at there's like blue in it. Can you guys see this? Yes, you can see it. Let's see. I'm going to shake this up. See if I can get it like shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Do you know what that's from? How many movie quotes does... I know Alvin from Alvin, or Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Definitely so not Alvin. I mean, sure, maybe he said it, but, ooh, this one's pretty. It's like a blue ooh. embossing powder with a gold mixture in it. I like it. Okay, I'm digging this tidy tray, though. Okay, so let's see what it looks like when it's not embossed yet. I just like the embossing powder. That stuff's pretty. All right, this tidy tray, though. If you have a Hobby Lobby in your area, look, it has like these three compartments. I can't even, it's so cool. It's like great. How do they even make that for so cheap? Okay, can you guys see? I know that I'm asking you questions, but I can't see your comments right now, so I'm sorry that I'm, okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, do you see this? Do you see it? Can you look at it? Do you look at it? Can you see it? Oh, that's hot. That's pretty. That was really good hand hammer I did. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Your boyfriend's gonna be so excited. Just huh. kidding. Okay, so that one, it just really like solidified. Oh, it's sticky. Don't touch it. <laughs> Probably have to let it dry. <laughs> Probably. Can um, I try? Okay, so she said it came that way. Yeah, you can try. Okay. So I'm gonna chat with you guys and try to read your comments, but you can play around with something. I'm not worried about the heat tool. It's I'm no more dangerous than a hot glue gun. Um, okay, so this tray's super cool. Finally caught an actual life. Hey, hey, welcome to the party. So I saw someone asked like if something came that way. Yes, it did. Oh, you wanna try a stamp? Sure. So then you can use stamping oh, powders. And then the next thing I want to do is, while you're doing that, I'm going to make, I'm going to make Ew. my own embossing powder. What? I like touch, don't touch. Oh, you can do a thumbprint. That's oh, just. Oh, I'm going to try that. Okay, or just try it. I was like, don't do that. And then she's like, I'm going to try it. Maybe I shouldn't suggest it then, huh? Okay, so she's now using stamps. Hey, hey, Kelsey. Love your videos, watching from UK. So this is a UK brand that we may carry, wow. But if um, they also carry just the clear, which I don't have, but I'm gonna try it with the Hobby Lobby brand. If, it, if I like it with the Hobby Lobby brand, theirs is like, wow's is so fine. It would be so pretty. So I'm gonna try to mix up my own. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use Hey, this. I need that. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna make I'm gonna mix yeah, them in that, and then I'm gonna put really them. Work. They didn't work. No. But did you do other things? Yeah, I did the L. But so I learned that you can't really stamp that hard on the thing, or it'll just turn out to be a blob. Yeah. But, so you're doing a stamp. Yeah. This is why we're testing it before we do your canvas. Yeah. For sure. Auntie Tay's version works. I don't know my version of what works. What's the tray card again? It's called called again the tidy tray looks like this and i believe it's in the embossing section that's where i found it not with like glitter with the embossing section but this would work great for glitter like this is what i've needed in my life for a long time and it has these little compartments so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make my that's own so with anti take glitter and try it out and then put them in little jars i have a bunch of these that i got at joanne's you can get them on Amazon too, probably. But I'm gonna make my own and stack them. All right, my name. I'm not even sure if it's gonna work because this is really thick. Like mm -hmm. the grains are really big. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna make just a little bit, and I'm going to use different colors. So I'm gonna use Mother Knows Best. It's a holographic purple from shopantitay.com. We have a lot of glitter still hey. in stock. What? I need that. You need what? That. The tray? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me make a color first. Okay. Okay. Will it dry? Oh, that's fancy looking. It mixes <laughs> together. Can you guys see that? Will it dry? What do you mean, will it dry? Yours? We'll see. We're learning all the things. Okay, okay so the fine... Bleh. That's not a good idea. The fine glitter falls to the bottom of this tray because it is so fine. So let's see if we can get it all into one of these bad boys. Start on the bottom. Started on the bottom, now we it. Okay, I'm thinking I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mix it in the little tray. Not 
not do this. I mean, it's a good idea. Oh, well, it's not that bad. It's not simple, no. So I made my own embossing powder. That's so pretty, I think. I'm not sure how this, I'm just not sure how this try. works. Wait, why don't we just try the purple out okay. on the paper? Try it, but I'm, <gasps> but we're doing two different, it's not just nerd. What is this one called? I'm Hold on, let's get a close up. Bring it over here. And do another little heart, just in case yours did dry. So that we can tell the difference. If it does dry or not. Do you know what I mean? You well, know what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to do the... N okay. Do a heart. Just so we have a fresh... So we can see if this is drying and if that makes a difference if you let it dry. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Dump it. Dump it. Dump it. I have no idea how this is going to work because these big granules are big. Eh, it's not horrible. Okay, now I'm okay. gonna emboss it. Let's get someone close up. It's gonna burn. Oh, let's do from the bottom. The Here. bottom? Yes, that's how the lady at Creativation told me to do it because it's better. Better for you, better for. Okay, you gotta help me out here. I got like one hand doing nothing. Okay, there we go. Hold it closer to the camera. They gotta see the action. That's not closer to the camera. There we go. Is it doing anything? No. I'm not sure, but oh yeah, it's melting. Oh yeah, it is. Can you see it? Here, can you see it in the camera? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it melting? Well, we are using a glitter paper. Whoa, see what happens here? It's blowing something away. I think it's also not dry. I mean, I think it's dry. Oh, then watch the heart. Watch the heart. You see that? Mm -hmm. Ooh. That Make works. sure it's in the camera. It worked. I'm just not so excited about this. How the size of this embossing powder. I you think like that, melted the glitter on the back. I don't. So the only place I know where to get the um, mm -hmm. fine embossing powder is from Wow. Unless you guys know a better place for me to get it so I can test it. But I wanted to test all this out before I even start carrying it in my store. But uh, I, I do want to try the fine. It worked, but. It's like splotchy. It doesn't look like splotchy. I had a feeling. The love hey, one hey. looks good. Yeah, the love one. That's a wow brand. So okay. that's the wow embossing. In... You should try Malibu. What's Mal? Oh, making our own. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. It's not the glitter that's the problem. It's this that's the problem. Ultra thick embossing powder is specially formulated large. So this one's made to be big. Don't know why. Formulated large particle embossing powder. Use a heat tool for embossing stamped images. Place into silicone molds. So I think this one is more for people who like to do silicone molds. Because you can take this stuff and melt it in like a metal sheet pan and dump it in a silicone mold. And it turns into like a hard plastic. It's really cool for mm. like all those people who Whoa. make silicone molds out there if you don't want to use epoxy. You can emboss a water bottle. You can emboss anything. But so I think that's what this one is designed for for bigger projects, not for like stamp card glitter making. So what are we doing? I think you have to emboss it. I didn't. You I can remelt it over and over because it's basically just like a melting agent. So glad you did this video. I didn't understand embossing at all. Good. Me either. <laughs> but I kind of did after creativation. I was like, I just want to try it. Um, it just gives you more height. I use it in cards. Yeah, so it's almost like a foiling, right? It's almost it gives like that look of foiled. I like but, burnt the paper. Yeah. Do you want to try the canvas? I don't know. If I'm gonna. We don't have enough colors, and I'm not digging this. This I want to show you guys. Maybe I'll buy some silicone molds from some of my followers. There's a, an amazing silicone mold maker that makes like Mickey watch covers and like all this cool stuff. So. um... I'm Googling it on the side because I didn't get it. <laughs> I gotta go back to the beginning because I don't even know what embossing is, right? So I kind of explain it, I think I explain it, but me either. That's why I was like, we need to do some videos on it, but I'm gonna nail it. This, I think, is a good product. I just don't think it's good for stamping and using the pen, um, but wow, and they are not a individual seller, so you have to buy them wholesale. So I am gonna be trying to get them in the store, but I also wanna make sure that they work really good and that they're something that I believe in before I add them to my store. But their product, 
already has amazing color and pigment. Well, I'm not sure about this one. I don't know about this like multi-sized colory one. And then this is just their glitter. So they sell just regular glitter as well to mix into their embossing powder. But we already have glitter. We have fine glitter covered at least. But um, if you guys are wondering what Malibu looks like, it's this color. If you it's didn't so join pretty. us last week. Uh, I don't have a picture of it on shopantitay.com because I suck at life sometimes. But that's what color that is. And it's in stock because it doesn't have a picture it so nobody bought like it. It feels like sugar. That's what it is. It looks and It looks like sugar. raw sugar. Like oh, but yeah. I now that I read it, please stop breathing it in and Try licking it. it. Can't stop problems. Licking it. I know. Can't take you anywhere, child. That's my favorite glitter you carry. Oh, Malibu, yeah. So what color is oh dear? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Right here. This is oh dear. It's like a rose gold blush pink. So pretty. so pretty. That is another one I don't think has a color or a picture because it is one of my favorite colors. And I'm like, <clears> nobody <throat> buys oh dear, duh, because it's not a picture. Um, I no, it's I so still pretty. haven't put a picture up. I have been working on member behind the scenes stuff. And so it's, it's hard for me to get to some oh, stuff yeah. like this. But again, we're working on getting an assistant that lives in California that can help me with things like this. So, um, I'm getting my whole business organized right now. Can I do one with the Malibu real quick just to show them what it looks like? Yeah, but it just doesn't do great with, I mean, maybe maybe a higher concentration of glitter to embossing. No, 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 hold on, sorry. You didn't know, but I was just gonna have you do it in here. Oh, oh my hair, I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna make it and then you can emboss with it. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I do know that I bought a twist container similar to that one you're using uh, for the glitter. It's also found at Dollar Tree. Yeah, you can find these like anywhere. Um, Kelsey, I actually have thought about you. Girl, I'm gonna be reaching out to you from some stuff, but not as an assistant. I already have my assistant lined up. I'm just waiting for her to quit her other job. That's the only reason she doesn't work with me yet. She has another job. So I was like, okay, well, when you're ready, let me know, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna be over here organizing everything for you. So you guys will meet her soon. Um, oh, oh, I know. She'll be on the team. Whoop, 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 and hopefully whoop, going whoop. live. Okay, I did like a good size ratio of Malibu okay. to this. I love Malibu. It's Malibu's absolutely so stunning. Pretty. stunning. Stunning, darling. darling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't realize how much I say things until my kids say them with me. What like, was that song I was singing? You were like, how do you know that? I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just sing it. You sing it. I sing it. I don't know why I sing it so much. It's from Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Oh. Yeah. And it is not a funny, like, it's not. Does it start? It's bless your beautiful heart oh, wherever you, you may be. be. I don't know why I sing it, like, at least once a day. But I was singing it one day and she like came in and was singing it. And I was like, we've never seen, you guys have never seen Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. How do you know that song? And she, they were like, you sing it all the time. And I was like. No, we were in the car. And yeah. And started singing it. I was like, bless your beautiful heart wherever you may be. I, and you were like. Yeah, I was like, how do you know the song from Seven like, Brides for Seven Brothers? Mm -hmm. um, right? It's a kid. It's like a show from when I was a kid, but it was not a, like the best show. And why would you remember the song? Like, and that song is weird. I don't know. The the whole movie is weird. And then it doesn't help that Dustin has like never seen any movies, and so my kids obviously have only seen what I've like introduced them to from classics. Uh, hammer that Malibu. Here, do it over this. Okay. And then Dustin's ever seen it. So I have a, I get a kick out of making video or movie quotes all day. And they have no idea what I'm talking about. Just learning vinyl on t-shirts. I bought a heat press. Do you have some beginner videos? Yeah, I have lots of beginner videos. There's actually a playlist called Iron On Videos. And that will help you. See, Ooh. it's just not that potent. It's still pretty though. You wrote Barbie? Yeah. Because it's Malibu. Oh, that's right. I'm saying oh, Barbie. I'm digging this so much though. Okay, Malibu though is gonna be amazing mixed with a fine, I'm gonna look on Amazon today or somewhere to see if I can find some, uh, see if I can find some fine 
embossing powder, clear embossing powder. Is it working? Mm -hmm. So Norwex, I just heard somebody say that. Uh, I actually am in the on the hunt to get Norwex like throughout my whole house, but it's a cleaning product that only uses water basically yeah. and they have like silver in them so they kill bacteria it's pretty cool the only thing i'm against not against but the only thing i don't like is that it's mlm so it means prices are super high here is malibu eh, we need some fine what happened to your handwriting i don't know don't look at that okay uh yeah we need to get a different embossing powder i think we're gonna get another embossing powder before we do your canvas yeah and before i do anything that matters so lots of fine embossing powder on amazon cool oh yeah i have we were gonna do this beautiful cow of mine because this is my favorite animal cows and i'm trying Why? because they're just so cute like so my friend she lives in a, a place where they have lots of land and so her neighbor has like a bunch of cows and like this little baby cow came up to me and like licked me and it was so cute. And then I like noticed how cute cows were. And like, so now they're my favorite animal. But so I'm trying to start a cow wall. I have two cows. I have this cow and I have my um, water colored cow and she has flowers like this one. I just love cows. We put so actual cute. flowers on her head though. We like glued the, or did you I do did that? that? You glued the flowers on, like silk flowers onto the cow. It didn't yeah. have flowers on its head already, right? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like crafty. Are you mixing glitter with the clear embossing powder? I did. So that's what, well, yes, we did. So right now I used, I'm not going to make any more because I'm not digging the thick. I, do I have a silicone mold? Do we a have silicone mold? Yes, molds? like uh, cookie silicone mold. We have heart ones, Where's that I brown think? one? I think I got rid of it because it had epoxy all over it. And I got rid of anything that had like any residue of epoxy on it, I think. But I can get more silicone mold. So I think dumping this in a silicone mold, which I guess you could heat it in the silicone mold because silicone can handle heat. We'll have to try that next. But um, I might go live with you guys a couple different times doing that. Because why not? Yes. So, um, yeah. So I went live yesterday for like an hour chatting about the deets of cricket and the things. If you joined me for that or if you watched it, uh, they did come out with their machine. Wait, and we never tried the black one. Oh, yeah. You want to try the black one? Yeah. That might be cool. Try it on the paper. Try it with Malibu again. So she's gonna try the black pen now. So it sounds like either you emboss or you don't emboss. Like the people who don't do it have no idea what it is, like myself. And the people who do do it uh, know how to do it. Cause it's not that hard. It's really actually pretty easy. So it's basically like glue and glitter, but the glitter gets puffy when you heat it up. Nah. That's a, oh, not wait. so good? No, it looks good. Let me see. Hold on, show, show, show. Let us see. It's this. So it looks, okay, okay, I see you, I see you. It's got like a, that'll be interesting. Let's see what happens. Yes, and Miss Tay gave us all the tea yesterday. I'm living for it. I gave you most of the tea. There's still tea to be had. I just don't want to talk about all the details. Um, all the tea. All the tea, you know? All the tea. Not for sure I'm going to purchase. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's like, it's a small machine that cuts like four inches wide, but I think it cuts really long pieces. And I have no idea what it actually is because I didn't watch the video on it. I just saw it and I was like, that makes, it's a writing and cutting tool. So it's Let's, basically like I'm a mini machine. With like the Yesterday's wild. video was so good. You were cracking me up. Sorry. Sorry, Gary. <laughs> I'm gonna try what? it with this one too. Okay. okay. This is yeah. what it looks like. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna try it with a cool it's probably gonna look cool. So I definitely wanna get that fine. Look at that sparkle though. So that's our glitter. This is wow glitter. That's our glitter, that's our glitter, but don't judge it on that because I'm not digging it. This is actually a really cute embossing color. I'm just not sure you couldn't do that with a pen. It's very puffy. It's like the old style where it's puffy, whereas the other ones are like shiny. Yeah. You're using a different glitter now? Yeah. I'm gonna try okay. the wow. Let me clean this embossing. Off. So whoever said, oh, I wish my kid would craft with me like this, mine just make a mess. No, I was actually just thinking like, I have a 
clean this up afterwards. Yeah, we gotta get good at cleaning up. Today's a cleaner's day, so we had to like make sure the house is spotless, which is really hard because our bathroom is ripped out and we're sleeping in the guest room and yeah, so. <laughs> and all my picture frames were like on the ground in my office, so I had to move those to the garage. So I almost debated not going live, but Landis was like, no, we had to go live. Not the tea, just the off the cuff videos, if that makes sense. Yeah, just hanging out and chatting. I do miss doing that with you guys. And Dustin was actually watching the video yesterday and was like, this is what people love about you. Like you need to just go on there and hang out with them more. And I was like, yeah, I do. I miss doing that. I just feel like there's no content when I do that, but it is really fun for you guys and for me, I guess. And for, sorry, for fun for me and for you guys, I guess. Um, I always feel like I'm like, I'm just talking to people. Like how entertaining is that? But I watch people who do that too. So plus you don't have to technically watch it. You can just listen to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. How's it going over there? Good. That's okay. You have a ton of content on your channel, right? I just organized a lot of it and I just put up different playlists on my YouTube channel. I went in and I like made old videos into playlists and put like room tours and decor t videos like so old school videos this one what happened it made like the gold pop more and it's a little darker so this is the blue and gold from yeah wow. so is the love oh on that yeah interesting so it doesn't even look like it's on a black pen Do you yeah. see that and so this is the is same the color one. but this one's over clear and this one's over black yeah, not even that different but it is different but not that different it this, almost like covers the entire black up this glitter goes a long way are these just glue pens what is this so can you just use glue mm -hmm. or what i don't even know uh i'm a business member i love it thanks bath bombs peter berg franklin i do know you though i've seen your logo and i have seen your business you do bath bombs and not just because it says bath bombs I know that so and I think you're a storefront aren't you you have an actual storefront uh, I think you might not but ooh, going to look at your playlist thanks for organizing it and your Dropbox file I actually it was my drive folder Dropbox has been organized because Dropbox is where you guys have access to so I keep that one organized um, but we're gonna be working on getting it like legit with project suggestions yes. in there and lots of that. Yes. <laughs> Do you even know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> she says, I just say yes because I know that's what I'm supposed to do. Yes. Okay. So that was our attempt at learning to teach you guys how to emboss. Yeah. Thank you for joining us today. No, glue would start a fire. To be honest, embossing ink or a pigment ink works best. Okay, thank you. I need to know these things because I don't want to burn my house down trying out things. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you burn your paper because, like, my paper I do was... know who you are, Bath Bombs. I my... stalk you guys. You guys are my business members. It and... gets a little toasty. Yeah, don't toast it too much. <laughs> Our store name is Bath Bombs Peters Petersburg. See, I know you guys. So, um, my business members, I actually just downloaded the spreadsheet of, like, the form that you guys fill out. And I'm going to go follow all of you guys on oh. Instagram because um, I want to see what you're up to. And that's yeah. how I get to see, like, the coolest projects and stuff that you guys and are making all the time. What about your slippers? They're under the table, and I was looking for them earlier. Just the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I know who you are. All right, so who else is business members here? Are you a business member? I think so. Are you taking my How to Be an Influencer course? Not yet. You should. Okay. Because you want to have a YouTube channel. First step to making a YouTube channel is going on YouTube and putting in your info to make your YouTube channel. Making a YouTube channel. Hi, you We'll see. Welcome, Carrie. Look at you. And you're a Norwex seller. I saw that. And yes, I did know that. Um, embossing is not the same as embroidering. Completely different. Candice is a business member. Yay. I plan to become a business member. Yay. Welcome, Caitlin, soon. Is there a list of your business members so we can follow them too? No, but I do. Uh, that would be smart. That would be smart. But when I start following them, you guys can go in and see who I follow. And you guys can see them that way. There's just a lot of you guys. There's a lot. And honestly, it's hard to keep up with all of you guys because there's a lot of you. But 
there's only like a handful of you guys who are really hustling. And so I see you if you're hustling. Um, there's a lot of people who join and they're just not that serious about their businesses yet. And so they don't have much content. So I don't know much about them. Um, like me. Thank you. Yes, exactly. So like I'll sit there and cheer you on, but there's not much I can do for you beyond cheering for you until you're actually moving. Yeah. Soldier, keep moving. Keep moving, moving on. How was the Toby Mac concert? That was, it was good. I liked it. It was fun. Yeah. It was really fun. Yeah, so we went to Toby Mac like a couple of days ago, and it was technically your not your first concert, but it was the first concert where like I intentionally bought the tickets because I wanted them to go to like a specific concert, and it was good. Yeah, it was it was very intense. It was. It was like so it. intense. Uh, he because he lost his son like three months ago. That was yeah. So his songs, he, he had like two really crazy songs that were all about it. And it's like, I can't even believe he's on tour right now singing these songs. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I think he'll be in Reno next. And then I'm not sure where else he'll be. But I was so jelly that that video, Toby Mac, love him. Yes. Yeah, we, and he, it's his hits tour. So it was like every song we knew. Yeah. It wasn't like promoting was a new album. It was literally like all of his hits that he's ever done. So... We're going to Toby at the end of the month. So excited. Yes, the uh, Element song was my favorite. Really? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I liked uh, Torn Wells' new song. Well, Torn Wells is not Toby Mac, but yes. I know, but he was still playing. And he what has, is it? How does it go? It's, I don't know, but it was good. I liked it. Then you obviously didn't like it. I don't know the Element song that well either. Torn Wells is such the a elements. good singer. Yes, he is. He's like a Christian version of Michael Jackson. He, Except he didn't moonwalk. No, but I think he's a Christian version of Bruno Mars. And Bruno, Bruno Mars, Mars is, is a like... version of Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> Bruno Mars actually is different than Michael Jackson. I think that it does him an injustice to always just compare him to Michael Jackson because Bruno Mars is super talented. So is Torrin Wells. But Torrin Wells, like, obviously has a, like a desire to be like Michael Jackson. Like every move he did was a Michael Jackson move. And really? Yes. Oh. He just didn't moonwalk. Uh. And he didn't do the toes. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> 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 All right. So we're gonna get going and we'll see you guys next Wednesday. What do you guys wanna see us do next Wednesday? I don't know why I looked at my watch, but I don't know why. Tell I Dustin we need you. videos of him pastoring. Of him pastoring? He doesn't pastor much. He's an associate pastor, so he does well, a lot this of behind is the our stuff. Life. <laughs> If he wanted a YouTube channel, he could make his own YouTube channel. He can go pastor on his own YouTube channel. I know. He doesn't have any desire to have a YouTube channel. Well, I mean, I guess he did for a split second last year. He wanted a vlog. Um, and he filmed our entire trip and didn't. He has. I think he's still editing the same video. It's like, good luck, buddy. It is not easy. Well, we got, like, GoPros and everything. So I think my dad wants to do, like, ev our adventures. Because we are going to call it the Deventures. Why is the volume just automatic, all of a sudden turning up and down on my Your phone? Your watch, probably. Oh, no. Yeah, Maybe. you turned it up and down um, when we first started. I didn't know that. Yeah. Love some Jesus. Our store is faith-based. That's awesome. Um... I have been inspired, I don't know if it's inspired, but I'm gonna be doing some more, instead of live hangouts, which I'll still do, I've decided to do some live inspirational chats oh. and talk about <laughs> things that uh, just stand out to me in what I'm reading or when I get like some type of epiphany um, to do something like that and I think I already have my first like three topics covered because they're they've been things I've wanted to do in a podcast for a while, but I'm like, why not just go live Hi. and talk about them? Because that's what people are used to, anyways. Um, you're not a big old dork. I actually love the cut files from Auntie Tay because I can find a lot of faith based files. Faith based files. Yes, there are a lot of faith ones in there. Um, so yeah, we are stacked full with faith ones. Dorks unite. That, sh that should be your YouTube channel called Dorks, Dorks Unite. Unite. Just kidding. Are you a dork? Yes. Yeah. 100%. Hi. 100%? Is that what you just said? Yes, 100%.
All right. We went live a little early today, so we're done a little early today. Definitely need a logo for that. Are you gonna work on a logo for your YouTube channel? Yeah, of course. You really need to learn to time manage. How was the play? So the play is not till May? May 5th and 6th. Yeah, so she goes every Tuesday to practice. Yeah. And then it'll be in May. Yup. And I actually just got my costume, uh, what I'm gonna wear. Like the requirement? Mm-hmm. What do you have to wear? So they give us like an Amazon link for one, our shirt. I have a red shirt and I'm Jasper and then Horace has a red shirt. So we're like, or I mean green. So we're like green and red, which is like Christmas. But I'm wearing a red shirt and then I have gray baggy pants and then like cargo pants or like swishy pants and like gray or black shoes. And then I'm gonna have, and then they give me like a hat and they give me suspenders. Cute. And then, then we also get a driver's hat and a driver's vest be, or a driver's apron for canine crunchies because what, that's when we go steal the puppies. So, and MC we have, pants. yeah, we're going to dress up as delivery man, as we're dressing up as Horace and Jasper. You must live stream. We're not allowed to live stream the play. I know, we're not even allowed to film it, but we get a DVD of it later. It's yeah. just hard because there's so many kids in the play that we can't post anybody else's kids on it. But oh, I'll see if yeah. I can like edit out just her part and put it on there if possible. Um, I know, it's kind of dumb. I need to see if it's worth it to get it, plus I don't know what it is. Oh, someone asked if we should do the foil quill next week. What's a foil quill? It's a tool by We Are Memory Keepers that goes in your Cricut mm -hmm. and it draws on foil. Oh, that's cool. I, unless you love foiling, I tried it and obviously I never put a tutorial up on it because you're going to find that I usually don't put a tutorial up on something that I don't really love. And, um, I did not, it's, it just, it kind of looks like metallic Sharpie when you're done with it. And I just didn't, couldn't get behind it. You're going to be a Broadway queen. Me? Someone wanted to know, what are you going to do on your channel? Hi, Stephanie. Oh, so um, my channel is going to be like a DIY channel, like my mom. But I'm also going to have like those fun like challenges in there too. So I'm thinking of having like DIY Mondays and, D and challenge Wednesdays. But that's not like what it's going to be. Uh, but right now I am going to... I have my first video shot, which is just like introducing myself. And then I have my second video shot, which is Valentine's that I made. And so You do know Valentine's Day yeah. is in two days. Yeah. So the post an app. <laughs> it's not edited yet. Uh, That's right. I can I, edit it at um, dance because I have two hours. You can edit it today? Yeah. Post it. So do you know the next step to actually getting something done? Do it. Following through. Yeah. Yeah. The foil quill void your warranty on the Cricut. So if it damages your Cricut in any way, it will void the warranty. Just putting it in your Cricut and using it, how are they going to be able to prove that you used it? Um, again, that's Cricut's way of trying to scare people into not using anything. If that's the case, <clears throat> then using a hair tie around a pen is going to void the warranty. Using a, one of those fake, not fake, but the pen adapters you can get on Amazon or on Etsy from people who make them is going to ward your, wo void your warranty. What but does that mean? I mean, so basically Cricut has a one year warranty where if anything happens to your machine, they'll fix it or replace it. If you've had it for longer than a year, <clears throat> then you don't even have a warranty, so it doesn't matter. But I, the foil quill is not going to damage your machine. I don't see anything about it that's any different than anything. It does heat up, so maybe that's the problem. But I honestly, like, I was excited about it when I saw it, and then I was like, eh, nah, it's not that cool. And after using it, because I was like, it literally is just so thin that it's like writing with a gel pen. It almost looks just like a gel pen. That's exactly what it looks like. So if you can put a gel pen in your Cricut somehow <laughs> with an adapter, I would, I'd recommend that over um, foiling. Because foiling's really cool when you can do bigger things with it. But you okay? Yeah. Okay. If I get a call about my car's warranty as I get a, oh, uh-oh, that's not good. Oops. All right, so let's get going. We have a day to tackle. 
it's yes, dance day. Do. If your cricket's older than a year, do what you want to do. You yeah. do you, boo. You do you, boo. That's like the saying of 2020 or 2019. In my age group. Oh, somebody did mention MC Hammer Pants. Uh, when she was asking me, like, because oh, look at yeah. her shirt. That is a shirt that everybody would wear in the 90s. 90s. And she's asking, like, what else in the 90s used to be popular? I want to I wanna bring back 90s clothes because I want to be, like, the trendsetter. Well, it's kind of a trendsetter, but you're pulling a trend from an old yeah, generation. Yeah. But someone said, MC Hammer Pants, did I not tell you about those, like, that's yeah. what I told you and showed you pictures of. Those were, like, the super patterny. Super pattern, well, big hips, it actually all started, little legs. Honestly, all the like '90s trends started after Stranger Things came out because it's based in the '90s, and so everybody was wearing like '90s clothes after like their favorite character. Yeah, it's just what happens too. Yeah. Every generation's, it everything gets recycled eventually, yeah. and never bell bottom pants though. You'd be surprised. Uh. <laughs> They're going to come in style like right when you're awkwardly not wanting to wear what's in style. And then all of a sudden, I don't know how it works. It works weird. Um, yeah. Like, I remember when skinny jeans came back and I was like, I went to the store to go buy new jeans. And I there was no option but skinny jeans. And I was like, I'm too old to wear skinny jeans. And then I started wearing them. And now people are no longer wearing, they still wear them, but like, not as much. Now it's like the and 90s noticed, bigger jeans. And I'm like, I ain't going to wear those ever. I noticed that leggings were never like popular. Leggings? Oh, here's one thing from the 90s, which I like wonder if they're... Like yoga pants, like leggings. Leggings were popular, but we had heel straps. What? They went under your foot. Oh, my sock oh, is dirty. Oh, like They this. went under your foot like this. Why? To keep them down in your boots. I've done that before with my boots, actually. <laughs> no, it was like a strap. And then there was like oh. a hole where your heel was. Oh, that's weird. Cut out the collar of your sweatshirts. I think that's a thing already. What? Where, like, this cut out sweatshirts where it, like, hangs over your shoulder. Oh, yeah. 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 But, like, leotards are in style, which are the most impractical fashion choice like, ever. No, <laughs> they're called bodies. Either way, try going in the bathroom. That's fun. Right? That's so, I don't like that. Yep, the high-waisted jeans from the 70s. And they're mom jeans. They're like acid wash. Oh, I love the Like loose-fitted, high-waisted jeans with the crop top. So 90s. Mom jeans. They're called mom jeans. Yeah. They were boyfriend. Like, not they were, but we had boyfriend jeans when I was in high school. Like, those were the style. And now it's mom jeans. And I remember, like, telling my mom, like, get rid of those shorts. They are never coming back. And they came back. And I was like, wow. She was right. Yeah. All right. See you guys next week. Uh, I have a wristband on. I have, I don't know, my wrist just, uh, it died. It dies like every few months. When I start working out, it just starts to inflame and it hurts. I have a different wristband coming because this one's so bright and it doesn't even work that good. So, but that's what's on my wrist. Yep. All right. Bye guys. It's not just a cool 90s sweatband. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm like bringing it back. Bye. Bye.